Hello, this is our next installment for the networking course. I wanted to give you a little background in the Paget.net format because we'll use that file format for so many of our tasks. I want to make sure that you have some background in how to use that and what things to expect and what types of things you can do with that file format. What you're looking at here is an example of the file format. It lays out a very simple definition for a network. The network has three vertices or nodes uh, labeled Alice, Bob, and Carlos. There are three arcs and one edge. In, in PAGEC, in the .NET format, an arc is a directed link. Okay, so if you notice, there is a link from node 1 to node 2, and there's also a link from node 2 to node 1. Okay, so these are directed links. Edges are undirected, or if you prefer to think of them as bidirectional, then these are bidirectional. So this is the very simple layout of the .NET format. I want to point out just a few things about the file format before we import it and see what it looks like. Uh, the percentage sign is a comment. Uh, just so that you know, I would suggest that you keep comments above the um, first statement of the file format, which is vertices, or below. If you try to put comments in between these lines or to do something like that, you will most likely get an error, and we'll, we'll walk through a few of the common errors later. So any of your comments you want to try to keep to the top, or if you, you know, you could also keep them at the bottom, I suppose, but you don't want to do anything to interfere with the file format here. Okay, so we'll just write a little bit more of a comment here. Uh, you'll notice that the next line is vertices 3. Okay, this defines all of the nodes. Keep in mind that this is the star symbol, no space, capital V vertices, space, and the number of vertices that appear. Okay, so this number should match the number in the very last entry. If these numbers do not match, there's a very good chance, chance that you will get an error or the file won't import at all. So these numbers, this sort of uh, count of nodes or vertices must be correct. Okay, so this is the, the, the first line in the format, the first line that Paget will read. The next line specifies node number one, and it gives a label. I would always put the label in quotations. And after the label, we get three sort of um, uh, decimal values. The decimal values represent the X, the Y, and the Z coordinates. So remember, PAGEC is um, visualization software. It can render images in uh, three dimensions, if you wish. So all we're doing is specifying the layout in those three dimensions, x, y, and z, Okay, for each of those nodes. Now, if you notice, we've just filled these with um, empty values, right? because we will uh, adjust these manually and possibly programmatically. So all we want to do is just put in uh, any old value so that Paget will read it. And in our case, we're just going to put all zeros because we'll adjust it later. And we do the same for Bob and Carlos. All right, so pretty straightforward. Next up is the arcs, okay, the directed links. What we do is we specify the source, okay, which is node 1. We specify the target, which is node 2, and we assign a value. In this case, we're assigning the value of 1. And um, that's basically that. We go on to define a few more directed links. Notice we have to specify that Bob also links to Alice, so node 2 also links to node 1 with a value of 1. And we make additional directed links as needed. The arcs will appear as uh, an, an arrow okay, from the source to the target. So the format of this line is the source node number, 
the target node number and then the value. And the edges format is exactly the same. Uh, the only difference is that instead of this being an ordered pair, in an edge, the first two, there is no real source and target. You could change, swap the first two numbers and get exactly the same result. Okay, so let's import this into Pagic and see what it looks like. Okay, we launch Pagic. We want to open a network. We pick sample.net, which is the name of our file. Okay, um, it will tell you what it read. Okay, it'll tell you that it read 10 lines. Read this output carefully. Notice it also um, will give you the first comment that it discovers at the top. It won't give you any comments after that. Okay, so it will tell you what the comment is. So you can use those comments to your advantage. Describe what the data set is and so on and so forth. It tells you the number of lines read. Okay, and you probably want to read that because if you're getting an error, it may stop reading in the middle of the file and that may be a clue to you as to what is wrong. And uh, it gives you the time spent, which for most uh, data is pretty pretty simple. Okay, so then what will happen is we'll see that our network has been loaded. And probably the first thing that we'll want to do is draw it. Okay, so if we draw it out, we'll see something like this. Okay, we've got an edge between Alice and Carlos. We've got two directed edges, one that takes us from Alice to Bob and one that takes us from Bob to Alice. And we've got a directed edge from Carlos to Bob. Okay, and that's uh, pretty much what we would have expected to see. Now you'll notice that these are really tiny, right? Our nodes are really tiny here. Uh, and if you want to change that, you can um, change the size of things. So you can change the size of vertices and give it a larger number. So you can even say zero for auto size if you want. And you'll get something that looks a little bit like that. Um, if you ever uh, see something in the draw window that doesn't look quite the way you expect, make sure that you go to options and review things like size, review things like color. Uh, that will make a, a, quite a big difference in, in your diagram. Uh, keep in mind that at this point we can just grab one of these and move them. We can sort of, you know, do anything that we want in, in terms of you know, manual manipulation of these things. Uh, we can also make sure that we're marking the lines with things like values if we want. Right? So remember we put in all of those ones for values. Well, it'll display them if we ask it to. And there are more things that we can do. I mean, for example, if we just want to spin this around, it's not too terribly exciting, but you can spin it around. And for some data, especially data where you've laid it out with a, a little bit more complicated uh, of a three-dimensional uh, layout, uh, that spinning can actually give you some sense of, of what you're looking at. Okay, so this is a, the very basic, uh, the most basic uh, file that you can create in, in Pagic. Let's take a look at one that's a little bit more complicated. Okay, and um, in this case we'll take a look at sample 2. Okay, what sample 2 does is it builds on, it has exactly the same structure, so the same vertices, the same arcs and edges, but it's added a few things, okay, just to give you a sense of what's out there. You can add shapes, okay, so uh, in the previous example, all, the default shape was taken, which is an ellipse or a circle. We can specify what the shapes are, so we can have ellipse, diamonds, triangles, we can have uh, boxes, we can have crosses, we can even have something that's called empty, right? You can basically just have a label there. Okay, so we can actually specify what the shape is if we want to. The X fact and the Y fact, okay, will actually increase the uh, the x size of the shape by a factor of 50 and the y fact by a factor of 50. Okay, so um, you can actually change the relative size of what you're seeing and you'll, you'll see that we can actually make these quite a bit larger if we choose. We can specify an interior color, okay, in this case blue, right, and a border color, in this case sepia. So we have quite a bit of control over um, the way this looks. Okay, so these are some of the things we can do to change the way the vertices look in Pagic. 
uh, if you'll notice, we can also add a few things to arcs and edges. We can add labels to the arcs. Okay, so we want to demonstrate that the arc uh, is a, is a, a sign of a friend that these two people consider each other friends. Uh, the edge is a sign for sibling. Okay, so these are things that that we can do. Uh, we can also specify colors for those. Um, I've chosen the color melon and red for different friends, and I've chosen the color green for a sibling. And finally, we can even specify the type of line. So in this case, I'm saying that I want the line to be a dotted line as opposed to a solid line. Okay, so these are all things that we can do. Let's take a look at how this looks in Pagic, and we'll play around with it a little bit and see what we get. Okay, again, it's reading in the top of the comments. It reads in 11 lines. That all looks good. Let's draw it.